Super Troopers. This film features a gang of less than intelligent state troopers that love messing with stone drivers. They try their best to figure out who's been bringing in massive amounts of pot to their jurisdiction. Oh hell, give me the goddamn soap. Number seven, Half Baked. In Dave Chappelle's comedic breakout role, he and company decide to start selling pot they stole from the medical research clinic where they work. However, a local drug dealer soon finds out that they're cutting into his action and over-the-top shenanigans ensue. Aside from Chappelle strutting his stuff as rapper and ganja connoisseur Sir Smoke-a-Lot, we get to experience a hilarious drug-fueled cameo by Bob Saget. Marijuana is not a drug. I used to suck for coke. I seen him! Now that's an addiction, man. You ever suck some for marijuana? Yeah. Huh? No. Number six, Pineapple Express. It's like God's vagina. Oh. What, do you want to bathe in it? You want to live in here? Yes, you want to be it? Oh my God, I just want to shove it up my nose and have that smell all day. That's amazing. Shove it anywhere you like. Beautiful. This comedy blends the best of stoner comedies and action flicks. In the film, a low-level processing server and his bumbling pot dealer go on the run from vicious mobsters. With its focus on friendship and bizarre heroism, it gives an entirely new generation of slackers and potheads a reason to get blazed. I shot someone who was already dead, so that doesn't really count as a murder. But with apparently you, you hit him with your car, I'm told, that, that you killed him. Okay, so I did murder somebody. I see you murdered, man. Not a big deal. That's cool. Number five, Friday. Craig has just been canned from his job on his day off, and his parents threaten to kick him out of the house. So, he and his best friend Smokey spend the day smoking up in their South Central neighborhood. Adding to their problems is the fact that Smokey owes an angry drug dealer $200 for weed he was supposed to sell, but smoked instead. Meanwhile, they must also contend with a neighborhood bully and relationship troubles. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Out Doogie Hauser. I want 30 sliders, five French fries, and four large cherry cokes. I want the same except make mine diet cokes. Chuck. Number three, The Big Lebowski. There's little doubt that Jeff Bridges' portrayal of The Dude is one of the greatest stoner heroes in movie history. Based on a real life friend of the Coen brothers, this classic includes bowling, pot, severed toes, and a gun-toting Vietnam vet, all within a mystery story. What do you do for, for recreation? Oh, the usual. Bowl, drive around, the occasional acid flashback. <laughs> Number two, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Up in Smoke deserves to be on the shortlist for almost single-handedly pioneering the entire stoner comedy film genre. The first feature-length film released by the comedy duo was an extremely controversial smash hit when it was released in the late 70s, and follows Cheech and Chong's efforts to avoid the cops, pick up chicks, and of course, get unbelievably stoned. Hey, I really like your car, man. Oh, you do? Wow, did you do this yourself? Yeah, yeah, I customized it myself, man. Wow, looks fantastic, man. Number one, Dazed and Confused. The crown jewel of teen comedies and stoner flicks, the film follows a group of teens during their last day of high school in the summer of 1976. While only a modest success at the box office, the film has since become a cult hit among both potheads and cinephiles. I mean, they, they, what, did you ever look at a dollar bill, man? There's some spooky stuff going on on a dollar bill, man. Yeah. I mean, and it's green, too. It's most memorable for its brutal ass paddling, insane amounts of cannabis, and a noticeably chunkier Ben Affleck. The end result is one of the greatest stoner comedies of all time. We must work untiringly so that our children are obliged to learn the truth. Because it is only through knowledge that we can safely protect them. Failing this, the next tragedy may be that of your daughter, or your son, or yours, or yours, or yours. Or yours.